Hello guys, KP Shamino here. Whoa, I got the fish on. What the hell? Yeah, I started the video and I got right away a fish on. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm now in Missouri and it's still the, the St. Patrick's event. And I'm fishing with level 27 gear. Why level 27 gear? So what did I do? Because I know it's it's not that easy for the low level guys to get uh, the rowdy bass and the leprechaun fish. Because they fight really hard. They are very big fish. So I started to work a little bit with gear. And I got now a 27 setup on. That's the Phoenix 450. And that's the feeder rod. Uh, it's around 7 kilogram test on the line. I use braid line. So I got a lot of line. And it's okay. So if I got the rowdy bass. On the low level setup they fight a little bit but it's not that they are going to spool me can you go a little bit lower i think you can go a little bit lower but be sure that you always got braid line on the fight is going to be a lot harder but if you got a lot of meters of line on your reel uh, the fish cannot go away here it's very hard it's a river okay but uh, the fish already need to go like 2 to 50 meters before he's gone Okay, but this setup that I'm going to show you guys, the level 20 setup is 100% secure. I tested it. I got now 7, 8 of the event fish and uh, they didn't uh, give me a problem. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to start with the setups because that's very important in this video. So uh, I'm going to lower the, the sound a little bit on my headphones. So... Uh, First of all, I'm fishing with the Phoenix 450, uh, the Exterminator 5500, braid line 0.22. And you guys can see I got 250 meters of line. For the guys that are not familiar with the line, so you, most of the time in all the fishing games that you can play at the moment, there is always a trick how you can get big fish with uh, low level gear. So braid line is very thin line, so that means that you can put more line on your reel. So because it's thinner, it's just simple physics. So always put braid line on it. In fishing plan, it does not matter what kind of line you put on. So the more meters you got, the less chance you got that you get spooled. So because the fish is going uh, to swim away, but if you got 10 meters of line after 11 meters, you are going to break your stuff. So that's the trick that you need to do. So if you want to go a lower setup than I'm using at the moment, be sure that you do it. I cannot say to you guys that it's going to work because this one works for me. And under it, I think it's going to be on the edge because I'm not going to touch, uh, test thousand setups. Uh, that's uh, going to take too much of my time. So the rate line 0.22. That's 7 kilograms, so you guys can see it with 7 kilograms, it's okay, I didn't have one problem. Then the chubby bobber, uh, I'm using the hook 1.0. Why a 1.0 and not 3 or 4 like in Michigan? For the simple reason that on this spot there is not, uh, I didn't get another fish. So it's possible that I can get maybe a large mount bass, but the fish are a lot smaller. So... You need to work a little bit with the hook size, so it's not. There is no reason that I need to use three four three o or four o in this lake. Therefore, I use one o. Maybe you can even go to one hook. Uh, I don't think it matters that much for the event fish, uh, but I go with the one o hook, and I didn't get one other fish. So a drunken worm still. So for the guys that are not familiar with the event. So you are going to find pot of golds. You just need to open the pot of golds. And in those pot of golds you are going to find drunken worms and bully grasshoppers. And that's the bait that you can use for the event fish. The event fish give you bait coins. I already farmed today 40 of them. Uh, so I don't think that I can farm enough to unlock uh, unlimited license for Aktuba because that's 1500 but if you start the game and you want to unlock a couple of uh, yeah low level lakes uh, the, the license you can farm a really nice amount of uh, bait coins I think this event it's six days so yeah it's uh, it's really good so then for the other setup that's this one so this is the feeder setup uh, I got the impression that feeders work a little bit uh, less good for the simple reason that they drift a lot. 
So you always need to watch it. The same problem in Michigan that I saw. Uh, so this is a level 27 setup too. So you got a simple bell. Be sure that you put the bell on. Otherwise you cannot see the bite. Because I'm using a rot uh, pot that don't have bite alarms. The level 14 one. Then I'm using the big Ali uh, 319. Fatboy spin 5000. Mono 0 0.35. I'm not sure. Can I see it? What test it is? Is it the same? Then this, I, I I think it's around uh, seven kilograms too. The mono 35 sinker 100 gram mono leader 0.25 and the hook 10. Always be sure that you use a drunken worm and a bully grasshopper. That you use the boat uh, baits. Uh, so yeah, in the water, it's a little bit silly that you throw two rods in the water. And that you use the same baits. Okay. My other setup is just a level uh, 20 or 38. I can show you guys. It's the Mega Tuber 400. Thunderspin 5500. Braid 0.30. Even here I got 180 meters of line. X-Series Sinker 150G. 0.5 Monoliter. Hook 3O. And a Drunken Worm. So where do you need to go? So uh, I'm going to put this rot away. So this spot uh, is already... A long time from the moment that we got the St. Patrick's event. Uh, it was always a spot to fish. There are other spots because you can get them here. You can get them here. But this is the, the most common one that everybody knows. So, uh, Okay, you need to go to here. Less songs of summer. And then you just need to come over here. And the uh, pot of gold already respawned here. This is a pot of silver. Let's have a look what we got here. There is a lot of lag on those pot of golds. So that's how it looks. And the pot of gold looks, of course, with gold coins. This is a pot of silver. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very laggy because I just looted it. And I'm just waiting for my loot at the moment. It will come, uh, but uh, it can take some time. So you just need to come over here. And here you will see, like... Uh, yeah, it's a tree in the water, like a dead tree. And you just put your rot pot. I put my rot pot over here because my line was drifting to there. I don't understand how that's possible because the flow, the current is going from left to right. But still my, my, my sinker went like this. It's magic, you know. It's, it's totally magic. So where do you need to throw? Uh, between the... Uh, between the two locks, you guys see my markers. So I try to throw the the feeder over here because it was drifting like this. So uh, I was thinking if I throw it here, it can drift all the way to here, and I still got a chance to have a bite. It works, but it's not so good as the bobber. I need to say the the feeders. It's good that you can put it on the side. Just watch it. Be sure that you put the bell on it. Because you guys saw it at the start of the video, I didn't have a bell on this one. And uh, I saw my line going. I was like, yeah, what the fuck is happening here? Oh, I already got a... Is that already a bite? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, here we go. That's very good. That's very good. So you guys will see if it is a rowdy bass. He will click a little bit. I think this is... Oh, check. So he's, he's clicking. So it's just okay. It's just okay. He's going to give a fight, but he's not going to spool me. So, uh, it, therefore, it's okay. I think if you go a little bit lower, 6-5 kilograms, I think this fish is going to, to fight a long time. So, is it fun on that moment? I don't know. If it takes every time 10-15 minutes to get the fish in for one bait coin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on the edge for me. You guys can decide, of course. Leprechaun fish, because this is the leprechaun. The rowdy bass is bigger. So that's how you need to do it. And then for the bobber. Did already set. Oh, that was the drunken worm of my pot of silver. Yeah, just a little bit of a delay, guys. Like five minutes or something. So, uh, yeah, this is 30 centimeters is enough. I didn't say the depth. So let's get the, the float set up just the same. Throw over here, but now you need to be sure uh, your your uh, float is going to the right because the floater is going with with the uh, right current. So put it a little bit like this. Put your reel in reverse and let it go. 
so at some point it's going to hit the shore of course then you need recast it's uh, it's not that complicated a little bit further I want to have it. I'm not sure that I'm going to get a bite because I was already very lucky. It seems this, uh, I need to say this is better than Michigan if you want to farm it. Because in Michigan I had so much uh, yeah, fish in between after the video that I made. I went to other spots too. I went to the Pike Alley spot. I went to the dog spot. It's all the same. If you are really unlucky, you're going to get perch. Uh, you got like all the small fish is going to bite, even on 3 4 hook. Uh, you got the bullhead uh, catfish you're going to get. Here you don't have that problem. So I think that this is a lot better to farm. I tried North Carolina for a brief moment, but I had flathead catfish, I had large mount bass. They all like grasshoppers, you know. So until now, I think if you want to farm your bait coins, the best bet on, at the moment is Missouri. So for the guys that tried it in Michigan, just switch to here. Uh, I tested all the other spots too that I know and that I saw uh, on, uh, on other videos. But uh, Michigan, there is way too much other fish, I think. Maybe there is a spot that you only catch the event fish. That's possible too. But uh, I'm going to stay here because... Uh, you guys can see it, I'm not catching any other fish. So time to recast and time to end the video. So that was it guys. Uh, yeah, Missouri with level 27 gear. So uh, do you need to have three feeders in the water? I don't think so. If you got two feeders, one bobber or one feeder, one bobber, that's more than enough. I, I don't think that I ever saw that I get on feeders. Like uh, on every feeder one bite with three rods. So I don't think it's not need. Uh, it's not needed because I I don't think they spawn that fast and uh, in in that amount of uh, yeah fish. So that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.